Hi DCCNS, it's Teacher Abby here and we are having our snowflake week this week for Tinker Time and um, I have a poem I want to read to you guys. It's about snow people. So we're gonna also talk about snow people a little bit in January, but here uh, today I'm gonna show a snow people poem and read the book Snowman at Night. First, let's do some snowflake breathing. So to do snowflake breathing, we have to make something with six sides because snowflakes have six spokes. Now they're so, so, so tiny that you can't really see those six spokes unless you're looking very close with a magnifying glass or a microscope. But the way that we make six is we put one hand up and our other hand lines up behind it so that our four fingers are lined up together but our two thumbs are sticking out. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's our six-sided snowflake. We're gonna breathe in and bring it up and breathe out and flutter it down. I have five snow folks. One, two, three, four, five. And I can send these to you if you want to make some snow folks at home. Just email me and I'll uh, send you the ones that I copied and cut out. So I always change snow men to snow folks or snow people because sometimes they're snow women. So let's sing. Five little snow folks skating on the ice. The first one said, oh my, this is nice. The second one said, the sun is out today. The third one said, we have time to play. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, oh, what fun. But then their arms drooped down and they started to sway. And the five dripping snow folks melted away. Snowmen at Night. This is by Carolyn Buner. One wintry day, I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down, he really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark, off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. They gather up their snowballs, the pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it starts, but soon it's quite a sight with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Wahoo, they yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. Oh, finally they're tuckered out and getting sleepy. So they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. 
So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. Thanks for reading and doing the poem and snowflake breathing with me. Have you ever made a snow person? Have you ever been up to the snow? I've been up to the snow and made a snow person and it's pretty fun.